Hey, hi there, YouTube. I'm just going to do a, a bit of an update here on the uh, solar powered camper. Try to zoom in. That's my two 250 watt panels up on the roof. And I got to tell you, we finally had sun here for the first time in about, I don't know, five days anyway. I'm going to bring this back down so it don't make you crazy. had the system running out here in the in the high dollar hobo camper I'm trying not to bounce too much coming down the stairs she's been running now almost two hours don't hold me to it but pretty much and like I said before I took those solar panels in series they're 31 volt panels and they're coming in now at about 64 volts we just said the sun's just starting to come out and uh, I installed my vent fans for the battery, which is what this is you're looking at down here. Maybe even here. They're just blowing some air, man. It turned out really good. I'll give you a rundown on the outside. This is my regular uh, shore power, which is tangled. Regular shore power cord. From my Go Power inverter, I ran. 15 amp circuit outside so when I'm camped for the night or staying a few days or whatever I can just flip this down I have another cord inside I'll show you that powers this up then you just plug this into there and it runs the whole camper what I have going on right now back here at my little energy star energy efficient 2.6 cubic foot refrigerator I've got this plug here that says inverter only right now this is the only thing running in the, in the campers the inverter is powering the 2.6 cubic foot regular compressor, compressor style energy efficient refrigerator and then this when I'm parked either on shore power or if I'm running on that big solar plug I just showed you the refrigerator will get plugged into here now inside we're still in the the testing mode before I take it out on the on the on the road. Just wanted to give you some updates on what I did inside. Hopefully this is gonna work. Hopefully the door will stay open. Now what I did in here I really didn't spend a lot of money. I got a light that doesn't work. Obviously what you see in here is my and there goes the door. I'll be right back. Let me cut this door open. What the hell's going on with us? Okay, it's recording again. There's my uh, Outback Flex Max 80. That was in my house. I put it over here in this door, and the door actually opens and closes quite nicely. <clears throat> there inside is my Go Power 1500 watt pure sign inverter. That I also had in the house and right now you can see it's running the refrigerator 56 watts and over here is a battery switch this is my polyvoltaic the solar panel disconnect so one click down is off one click up on number one is power coming in this plug here if I plug that in, that livens the uh, the two out outlets outside the trailer. It's that um, uh, solar circuit. Underneath are the Crown L16 CR390 batteries. And I've got all the little atomizer caps hooked on them. And then underneath here, Try to give you a peek under here. I don't know how good it's going to work. There's the uh, fans, the exhaust fans. I'm going to try to pan this up to give you an idea of what it looks like underneath. And underneath there, you'll see another battery switch. That's my disconnect from my battery bank. Click it one turn to the off, it kills the battery power to the charge controller. And that's a fuse with a red line coming out of it. That's a Fuse for the charge controller. I don't know if we can go all the way over. I don't know if you 
can see that it has a 200 amp fuse up there for the uh, the sine wave inverter. So it was a good bit of work. And yeah, there's the fuse right there next to my thumb. And then right there it says DC disconnect. That's for the switch. So it turned out pretty well. And the sun was out for a moment. Now the sun went away. And our batteries are floating. They've been uh, two hours at 14.7 uh, volts. And now they're floating at 13.6. And those fans should shut off momentarily. I had to make this little uh, shelf in here. And believe me, I'm no carpenter. That was uh, kind of tough to do, especially when you don't have any tools. I got plenty of stuff to work on metal, but wood not so much. These are my power cords, negative, positive. All the other wires go down through here through plastic uh, conduits. That's the relay for the battery fans. And there's my lovely lights dying in the background. So anyway, that's the uh, update. She's alive and running. And now I'm just going to uh, move on to my next project, which is, which is getting ready to uh, head out of Dodge here. All right, time to clean this camper up, clean me up, and my truck up, and get it loaded. So thanks for watching. I'm sure I'll be doing more updates on the road. But... Um, those panels today, even with the clouds, there's so much power there, they just knocked those batteries right out of the park. And two hours later, she's floating away. And the road is running, so it's a beautiful thing. Alright, thanks for watching. More updates to come.